Season 5 coming in January with Halo Reach armor sets, why there is no campaign crossplay, double XP for an entire month, and the custom game browser flight happening in December, as well as all the other features coming in early 2021. Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this and it greatly helps out the video and channel. So let's get right into the content here. So as we do at the end of every month, Postum goes on the Halo Waypoint and gives us a big boy dev update of everything going on with the MCC. So in this video, I'm gonna give you the TL, DR, and just gonna give you everything you need to know about this blog update. Of course, you wanna learn everything that's going on with it, link in the description down below. Even though season four was just released to us like couple weeks ago, they're already working on season five and actually even season six. And originally the GRD helmet that was original cut content from Halo Reach was gonna be in season four, but due to some pipeline issues of trying to get those pieces of content into the game, it just didn't work out with the time that they had. So they pushed it to a later season and they actually say here that they're happy to confirm the Akis and Mariner helmets, which is GRD and the other kinds of armor sets that have been cut content from Halo Reach are be happy to be confirmed coming in season five. If you checked out my previous videos, there was actually a leaked video that went online showing off a lot of the content and customization coming to MCC. And a lot of it actually did not make it into season four, but it's in the game in some form or another, or at least it was in the flights. Here's a video of what I'm talking about. You can see some unique armor sets when it comes to Halo Reach. And there actually are some bits of Halo 3 customization that didn't make it into season four, like the gold battle rifle which I know a lot of people are really looking forward to. Uh, you see that actually in Halo 3, you have the option to select your Hornet skin, but there is no skin to select except the, uh, the, the new updated texture version. And we saw that with the leaked video that there was like an Arctic camo skin for the Hornet. So we'd probably see something like that coming in for season five. And since we've seen this last few seasons that haven't really been a full like 100, they've been kind of around 50, 75, I think. I think it's really around 50 for the last couple seasons. I could imagine a similar kind of thing happening with the MCC moving forward, just every new season, another 50 tiers to unlock. Which is great to see that 343 is putting in the effort to make sure that there's still some things to grind out and earn when it comes to playing the MCC. They also did mention they want to do more with the incentives of doing specific tasks within the MCC, as we've seen pre previously with the ranked weapon skins for Recon and now with squad battles for Halo 4, get some cool weapon skins, which from what I've seen, the Arctic Camo looks pretty awesome than the Halo 3 sniper rifle. That bloody DMR does look pretty sweet in Halo 4. But I would expect to see some more achievement-based things and content you can unlock within the MCC, which is fantastic. The next section here that they wanted to go into is talking about campaign crossplay. It was something that I was actually really looking forward to, but then actually right before they released it, they talked about what it's actually going to be available on. And it's really just a multiplayer thing. And there's a big reason why it's not for campaign. And stated here in the blog update, they say crossplay is not currently supported in campaign, including campaign playlist and Spartan Ops. This is due to these modes using a synchronous network model, which is significantly less forgiving in disparities in hardware between users. We'll continue to investigate the potential of campaign crossplay in the future, but don't have anything to confirm at this time. I can totally see that being the case. Playing online co-op campaign content is actually kind of unbearable to play. And it was like that back in the 360 days. And you know, I'm sure the specifically but it definitely wasn't very functional in the first place even when back when Bungie made it I feel like they kind of just threw it together just so they could have it as a checklist item but uh they specifically coded it for 360 to 360 co-op online experience so if you try to do anything else with different hardware it gets a bit funky now trust me I would love to have this feature just as much as you guys would but also I would like to see a lot of other things happen with the MDC and it sounds like this would be a monumental undertaking for this to happen so I wouldn't necessarily expect to see this coming anytime soon. I mean, if things get you know completed and they really run out of things to do, I could probably see it happen. Uh, I mean, we never thought the MCC would come to PC in the first place, but I wouldn't really expect the team to go into the networking of everything to fix up just some small aspect of the game that probably won't be utilized too much because by this time this actually gets fixed, 
Halo Infinite will be out and not very people will be playing it. Now, have you guys been grinding out your content, trying to get your ranks up in the MCC? Well, the month of December is gonna be an amazing time for you because from December 8th, 10 a.m. until January 4th, 10 a.m. That's essentially an entire month of double metal XP coming to the MCC. Currently, right now, there is double weekly challenge XP. So I've been trying to jump on that, play that a bit. But, you know, obviously it's a little more taxing because you have to do specific things within a specific time frame or double metal xp is just play the game a lot and you'll rank up a lot but we'll definitely will be releasing a xp boost kind of video for you guys to maximize your xp time while playing the mcc i know i already made like a how to rank up fast in season four video though this one will be more catered towards gameplay and what game modes to play to optimize your xp game time and the big exciting piece of news here that i'm actually genuinely surprised it's happening the custom game browser flight is likely to happen in December. I mentioned how they're hoping to have this flighted before the end of the year, so it's on a bit of a time crunch right now, but I do wanna mention exactly how they're looking to do the custom game browser in the MCC. It looks like that they're planning to hopefully just do it one game at a time and then take some feedback from how that one game performs and then just multiply that across the rest of the games. I would really hope that they choose Halo 3 for their testing grounds just because that would be the mode that would get the, probably the most play time in the custom game browser since we've had so many amazing unique custom games in Halo 3. They mentioned in a previous dev update here saying, our goal is to offer players a way to host and join a large variety of game types that we can support in a social or competitive match made games. We want to give players control over multiple games CE through Halo 4 game types and maps in custom browser rotation. We want to make it easy to play with friends and to find games you are interested in based on filters you provide. We want to provide a detailed browsing experience. We also want to make some adjustments to the core Halo multiplayer flow for custom game browser so players will spend less time in the UI and more time in maps. Not only does it sound like they'll be doing some UI fixes, which I do have some you know, mock-up screenshots that they've posted right here showcasing the idea of what they want to do with the custom game browser. Obviously, this is our mock-ups. This isn't anything official. But they do have it currently up and running in-house right now at the moment. But obviously, something like a custom game browser, you fully won't get the idea of how well it works until you give it out to the wild. And we have been invited to pretty much every flight since the Halo Reach PC flight, so I'd assume to get in this one. So I definitely will make videos on how this custom game browser works for everybody. Like I said, they probably will just start out with one game in particular and then roll those fe roll that feature out to the rest of the series because they mentioned this here saying, Really big features like the custom game browser, for example, are most likely going to roll out in stages. We'd roll it out for one game in the collection to properly evaluate. We want to see not only how it works, but how the community uses it and in a more public setting. And then we'll take those learnings and iterate and roll it out the rest of the games. Although this isn't set in stone, this process of working hand in hand with the community is something we're very familiar with now. So just know that if the custom game browser does release in December, which would be pretty freaking awesome, that it would most likely be for a single game and we'll, we'll definitely provide feedback within the flight and hopefully we'll get that full rollout of it to every game probably in early January. Talking about early 2021, we actually have a ton of new features that are confirmed for early that year. We have view model adjustments, Steam account linking, PC file share, double key binds, and per game audio options. I talked about all these features in depth in a previous video, talking about what's gonna happen with the MCC after Halo 4's launch. So I highly suggest you go check out that video. And to wrap up, they do mention about the December update coming for the MCC, and it seems like it's gonna be rather minimal, kind of just more just fixing up random bugs or complaints that the community has had. I was hoping for the uh, console FOV slider, but it sounds like it might be coming at a later date. So that's all the news for the MCC right now, guys. If you liked anything, let me know in the comment section down below. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. Are you excited for the custom game browser? I know I certainly am. I definitely will be making a ton of videos on it to show you guys the experience of what it's going to be like. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more of it or been out of the loop for the last few days or so, make sure you check out the video on the screen right here. I got a link to all my news and informational videos if you missed anything in the last few days or so. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.